Let's take a problem on rounding off and estimating the product. So you are given two numbers and the question says round off 479 and 127 to the nearest 100 and estimate the product. Okay, so you have 479 and you have 127. You need to round them off to the nearest 100, right? So we had discussed earlier that whenever a number has to be rounded off to the nearest 100, we see the tens position. Here basically your tens position in this case is equal to 7 and in this case it is equal to 2. The next thing that you see is whether the tens position is greater than or equal to 5. Right? So if it is greater than or equal to 5 then we add 1 to the hundreds digit. So 4 here plus 1 gives you 5. Why? Because 7 is definitely greater than 7, 5. And instead of these two numbers, we just replace them by two zeros. Right? In the second case, 2 is not greater than or equal to 5. Hence, this property is not true. So, we don't add anything to the hundreds place. We write it as it is. And the other two, we just put them as zeros. And then you need to estimate the product in 200. So that is easy. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 1 gives you 5. So the product is 50,000. Now you must be wondering what is the practical application of these two. Now many a time in your life as you will move forward and you will do more and more of maths you will come across situation where you need to do quick calculations. You might remember this couple of years down the line as you might be preparing for some competitive examination. So you might be required to do certain quick calculations wherein you know let's say you were told that 500 into 100 is you are told to find out the product of 479 into 127 and typically in these cases you would have normally not more than one minute to solve it. Might seem a little harsh at this stage but that's the way things are. And you are told that there are four answers to this. That's the way any typical competition examination would work. One would say, let's say 30,000. The other one would say 80,000. The third one would say, let's say 54,792. Okay. And the next one says 60,000. 833 right now you know that this is, if you do a broad estimation please note that these are broad estimations only there is bound to be a difference between the actual product of these two numbers and this result that we are doing here but we have just done an estimation right so in this case we know that this number is somewhere around 50,000 not exactly 50,000 but somewhere around this number. So if you know this you can kind of eliminate these two. Okay so you know that the answer has to be between these two. While at first choice the answer might seem to be 54,792 actually if you see the product of these two numbers it's 60,833. Now there are certain further methods that you will know as to how do you compute this number by quick calculation methods but for now just know that these estimations are basically used in many cases so let's say your mother tells you okay go buy 10 cakes and each cake cost 17 rupees okay so broadly in this case it's okay but let's say you have to buy 12 cakes so you will tell me your mother how much I mean one thing is you tell Okay, give me the entire money, 17 into 12, you first do the calculation and then ask. 
Or you will say broadly this is 17, so if I take this as 20 and this as 12, I round this off to the nearest 10 and I will need 240. So 240 is on the higher side, right? Approximately somewhere around that number is the money I will need. So that's the point and that's the use for which these estimations are put.